when it comes to retail financing, um, generally speaking, uh, I, that the, the financing comes up late in the sales process. Usually you're focusing on the tractor and what it'll do for us. Um, and then we may get to price and then, and then financing. But of course, any time the customer wants to bring that up is the time you'll talk about financing as well. Um, sometimes financing can be the driving force if, if, if there's a special finance uh, program going on. But generally speaking, it's just uh, it's kind of the, 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 one of the last things you'll talk about when, it, when, it, when, when you know the customer's serious about buying. I think uh, taking in trades is a must in the, in the compact uh, tractor business. Uh, most generally, everyone that comes in, in my store to shop, it's not the first tractor they've bought. They've, they've had, they have a tractor or they've had other tractors. And they, they, part of buying the new tractor is getting rid of, rid of the old tractor. Um, used compact tractors are, uh, are good property. They sell well. And so it's uh, definitely a, a, a profit center in, in and of itself. The trade in things, yeah, you, and everyone's gotten stung taking a trade that you've got too much invested in. And uh, I think it's important to know when it's time to dump something, get, just get your money back out or get what you can out of it. And, but, you know, hopefully as you gain experience, there's more and more cases where you can actually maybe make as much money on it as you did the new one. And um, so that's, uh, those, are, those are good things. But compact tractors, Use compact tractors sell really well. Um, can't hardly keep them on. Can't can't hardly keep them. You know if they, if they're priced right, and uh, you know for what they are, if they're priced right, they they sell. Advice I would give a dealer who may be struggling with a Cub Yanmar line is I guess if you're handling several brands, uh, maybe picking uh, if if you're gonna if you're gonna sell Cub Yanmar, uh, pick that brand and 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 believe in it. Stock it, uh, put some out front, put some attachments on them, and uh, and and really and really sell it like you believe in the product line. The easiest single thing about selling the Cub Cadet Yanmar uh, product line is uh, the fact that it already has a good reputation. So uh, you don't have, we don't have to hang our heads when a customer comes in the door and wants to look at at our product line. We can we can be excited about it. Uh, it's it's a solid performer. I don't know what it would take to get more dealers excited about the Cub Cadet Yanmar line. We are excited with the product. Uh, we, we, we like the product. We've, we've chosen it as our only compact tractor line. Um, even with the few products uh, that, that, that they offer, um, we're committed to the line and, and think it's, it's, uh, it's done really well for us. I, I don't generally sell uh, service parts when I make the sale on the tractor unless the customer wants to buy um, filters or something when he buys a tractor. Generally speaking, I think my customers want to know that I'm stocking that stuff so it's there when they need it. Uh, when it comes to customers doing their own maintenance on the tractors, I usually um, I remind them that the warranty doesn't require that the tractor come here for us to do the, the uh, maintenance. We will sell them parts uh, if, if they want to maintain it themselves, but we will also, we're also here to do whatever they want us to do uh, for them. As far as advertising the Cub Cadet Yanmar uh, product, um, we've used a variety of things. We, we, uh, we have a, a website and we feature uh, some Cub Cadet Yanmar uh, product on there. We have a billboard. Uh, at the at our exit on the expressway, uh, we we run ads in the local newspapers. We've sent some direct mailers, and we use a couple of uh, uh, local radio stations as well. Probably the, the 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 advertising venues that have worked the best for us with Cubby and Mar have, have been um, uh, the direct mailers and uh, some radio advertising that we've done. We have a local. Uh, country station that's really been great to work with. Uh, 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 they really have catered to our needs and their, their, uh, their philosophy has been uh, to help us out in any way. We, we're, we're, we're a pretty big advertiser with them so their, their philosophy has been to help us in any way they can uh, to help us move more product. Uh, 
maybe they'll, as opposed to just running ads on their station, they may call me in the morning and on a snowy morning and ask me about uh, snowblower sales, or they may ask me about uh, 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 how the Cub Cadet Yanmar tractors are selling and uh, just just chatting on our morning program or something. And, and so they've been really, really great to work with. So I'd encourage dealers to find a, a, a local station, uh, maybe not the biggest station, but, the, but a local station that's really willing to work with them. One morning, uh, uh, one snowy morning, uh, the, the, their morning show, they have a real goofball in the morning show. And he, he called me on my cell phone. And I'm, you know, it's snow and I'm getting to work. And he, he calls me and says, yeah, I heard your ad on the radio. He said, I wondered if you've got um, a snow blade for my smart car. And, I, and I'm trying to be, you know, as polite as I can. I said, no, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't have. I said, I do have some snow blowers and, and um, I, I said, maybe what you need is a, walk, a good walk behind snowblower. He says, walk behind snowblower? What am I going to do with that? I only have one leg. <laughs> and then he really has me going. And I said, well, you know, maybe then you need a tractor with a snowblower mounted on. <laughs> you know? And then he tells me he's the morning, you know, I was on the radio, you know, he's doing this. <laughs> so he only got me once really good like that. The next time he called, I, I was ready for him a little more. <laughs> Another thing that they, they talked me into doing is, re, is uh, voicing my own uh, radio ads. And, um, and I think that's really, uh, really helped as well. A lot of people like, uh, I've mentioned hearing, hearing my voice and, and uh, again, uh, establishing me as the local, uh, the resident uh, professional as far as uh, uh, that product line or what have you. I guess uh, as far as uh, advice I would offer other dealers, uh, uh, I would consider what the Cub Cadet Yanmar line um, brings to your dealership as far as additional features for your customers or uh, features that you could sell. And um, don't just, you know, you don't just want to add it to the mix, but you want to uh, uh, look at it as uh, uh, what what additional thing that could bring to your dealership, and then and then believe in it and, and stand behind it.